Be careful, Stepney. I will, and thank you for a lovely day. I do hope I can come back again. The line can be spooky. Thank you for the warning. Toby was right. Suddenly everything does look spooky. <gasps> Stop! There's a signal box. And the signal is green. Someone must have been expecting us. Terence must have been busy ploughing. This field looks wonderful. Can't say the same about the buildings that. Oh, goodness me, it's. It's a girl. Nearly gave me a fright there. Mm. Strange for her to be out at this hour. Lovely music, though. Those strange sounds. Where am I? Oh no, I'm in the scrapyards! Got you this time, Stepney. You'll make very fine scrap indeed. Buffer him, Bert. Thomas. Thomas, slow down. You'll miss the platform if you don't. You two are the biggest stick in the muds I've ever met. I'm not going to miss the platform, sillies. Maybe you should try enjoying your surroundings instead of worrying so much. Besides, there's no rush. You never know when the day will come that you wish you took things more slowly and cautiously. That's right. At the speed you're going, you might upset a passenger, or miss a stop, or go the wrong way. How would you feel then? <laughs> oh, you two, so paranoid. I'm sure if the situation was important, I would do the right thing. Just you wait and see. On board quickly, please. Natford can be very busy in the afternoon. Oh, Thomas, when will you learn? <laughs> if I continue to get all my jobs done early, Sir Top and Matt will definitely let me work on the Kildane branch line for a while. He's been saying they need a new engine to run that line. It's my chance to finally see more of the world. Can't you just be happy with what you have? All this talk of seeing the world is going to get you in trouble, Thomas. Nonsense. Just you wait and see. Stick in the months, we're early. A headlamp closer to Kildane. Oh, Thomas. You'll thank us someday. Oh, 
morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Rusty. What's the matter? You seem quite glum. Oh, it's nothing. Just feeling a little out of it today. I don't blame you. You had quite an adventure last night. Let me tell you, the scrapyards can be a frightening place. Oh, it's not just that. I saw something else. What did you see? This little girl who made the most beautiful sounding music with her accordion. She appeared to be no older than 14 and was quite pale. I saw her by that old field Terence must have ploughed. The structures looked abandoned if my memory serves me correct. Didn't get a good look at her face though. Hmm. What do you think? Ever seen her before? The driver says she lives in the hills with her family. Uh, what are they doing up there? I have no idea. Now listen, I'm being very serious here. Don't talk to her. Don't even let her know that you're around. If you see her coming, I want you to puff as fast as you can. Understood? Why? What's wrong with her? If she thinks she has a friend on the line, she'll be back. Now, are you absolutely sure that she didn't see you last night? I'm quite sure. Oh dear goodness me. Look at the time. I, I must be off. Farewell, Stephanie. Reminder to puff away. Wait, Rusty, what happens if she sees you? Rusty, wait! <laughs> Hold on, Stephanie. There was a, a, a problem with the trucks you delivered last night. Don't worry, it's not a... We're pretty sure it's not your fault. However, after you make your delivery, we need you to help clean up. I really must be going now. Best of luck. I wonder what he means. What's taking them so long? Thomas, guess what? You've been asked to work on the Kilday branch line until Sir Topham Hat can find a permanent replacement. Percy will take Annie and Claire work for you on the Farquhar branch line for a while. <sighs> What did I tell you? I guess arriving early every day did pay off. I doubt it was because of that, Thomas. Precisely. That line has been needing a permanent engine for a while now. It's an inconvenience to have a new engine there daily for such a short amount of time. Oh, you two. You're just jealous that I get to go see the world. <laughs> I must go now. Running a branch line is an important responsibility, you know. Goodbye, Annie. Goodbye, Clarabelle. <sighs> Goodbye. Running a branch line is indeed an important responsibility. It's a shame you're forgetting about you own, though. Farewell. Please be safe, Thomas. Why? <laughs> ah, two branch lines? Two branch lines? Jeez, I must be popular. Ah, the other engines must have been so jealous. I can just imagine their faces right now. I need someone to go plow that field past Riverfell signal box. No, sir. I will not go there. Something else does the plowing I want no involvement with. Besides, that farm has been abandoned for decades. It ain't wise to go to that field, nor that part of the island. I don't want it to get me. Shh. We don't want to scare anyone. My mistake. I didn't know she was out this season. Go plow New Kilding Station instead. I need some tidying up. <coughs> Ha! 
what a nuisance signals are. I would speed down the line, barely giving them a glance of attention if I could. Or at least if I wasn't reminded. Hello, Terrence. Isn't it such a pleasant day today? Tis indeed. Didn't expect to see you around these parts, Thomas. What's got you so giddy and gleeful? Haven't you heard the news? I've been assigned to run trains on the Kildane branch line. Ooh, isn't it wonderful? A real chance to see more of the world. I've been busy exploring today. Don't want to get lost on my first delivery. Listen here, Thomas. If you're going to run this line, you need to take proper precautions. No messing around. There's a girl that comes out at night and plays the sweetest accordion song you will ever hear. Where? She sounds interesting. She most certainly is not interesting. She comes out around midnight, and if you see or hear her, you better not attract her attention. Stop moving, turn back, whatever you can do, just don't let her notice you. You hear me? <laughs> I hear you, Terrence. I say, you remind me of Annie and Clarabelle. <laughs> oh dear, must be off. Farewell, Terrence. Oi, Thomas. Heed my warning. <laughs> Crazy old tractor. Terrence can go yeehaw away. I feel he's up to something. Probably some sort of trick. I've already dealt with one ghostly trick from Percy. I'm now brave enough to deal with another, even if it's from Terence. He doesn't know what who he's messing with. Better get to my shed. Gordon should be passing by any minute now. Best get some rest before my first big delivery. Huh? Huh? <sighs> there was probably nothing. Thomas, wake up. Wake up. We're almost late for our first delivery. What? Let's get moving now. We can't afford to be late on our first run. Goodness, where did all this fog come from? It really makes everything look spooky. Curses, the signal's red. 
What's taking so long? I'm going to be even more late at this pace. Driver, do you think you could change the points? Nobody is going to be on that line. Besides, all lines past here lead to the ironworks. It could be a shortcut. Don't want to break my late streak now. Mm, Alright. <laughs> Wow, this field looks really neatly plowed. What's that? It's a ghost. Oh, oh my gosh. Prank or not, I'm not staying around for this. at me. Ah, 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 help me, please, somebody, ah, <laughs> ah, 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 please, ah, it's after me, please, ah, 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 <laughs> please, ah, <sighs> <laughs> he got me good. Wow, a hired actress? Terrence must have been really dedicated to this little welcoming prank of his. The makeup on her was flawless. It looked like she was so transparent. Ah, uh, <laughs> I knew he would trick me from the first minute Terrence gave those ludicrous warnings. You better not attract her attention. Hilarious. We'll be joking about this for months. <laughs> Shut up. You're lucky I'm trying to sleep. You shouldn't be laughing in a place like this, you old piece of junk. It's not fitting. Oh, buzz off, you creep. Tin kettle. <laughs> Nobody likes you, Harry. <laughs> Let's go home the other way. Don't want to catch Terrence off guard. you to stay away from her. I'm sorry. I should have explained everything more clearly. Oh, what could you have told him? We don't even understand it ourselves. What do you two mean? It would be really lovely if you could tell me what's going on. Are you suggesting that girl was up to this? A young girl like that couldn't hurt a fly. Why, have you seen her eyes? They're the most precious, innocent things I've ever seen. She noticed you? Oh, dear Stephanie. Why? Who is she? Like Terence said, we don't know what she is. Have you ever seen her? No. Neither of us have. We've heard stories in nearby villages. They said there's a girl who walks the roads at night playing her accordion. They say she uses it to lure things in. Lure them in for what? Listen, she's eaten now, so she probably won't bother us for a while. So we can consider ourselves lucky. But you need to stay in your shed at night, and if you ever hear that song again, you need to drop what you're doing and run as fast as you can and don't look back. Understood? I, uh, guess so. Good. Ah, good morning. Huh? What's that?
God. Pay more attention to your surroundings, Thomas. A big engine like me deserves a little more respect. Ah! Oof. What the heck? What did this? I don't know. I hate trucks as much as any engine, but I would never do something this... this sick. Why didn't you heed my warning? Oh, it's no use now. Listen to me, Thomas. Run. Run away. Now. While you still can. As far away from this line as possible. Please. Before she comes. This was you? What? What? I can tell. You're the one who's playing this sick, twisted joke. Before she gets you. Hiring a child actress? A bit much. But doing this? Tearing these trucks to shreds? That's harsh. I almost believed you for a second when you told those phony warnings. Thomas, we don't have time for this. You need to get out of here. I insist. I'm being serious. Serious about what? Listen, Terrence, I worked hard to get this job, and I'm not giving it up that easily. It really hurts that you want me gone this badly. I'm trying to help you, Thomas. How? Maybe if you weren't so selfish, you would see that. Selfish? Selfish? Pa! If anyone's being selfish, it's you, attempting to scare me off this line. Who's the one that constantly disregards advice even from his closest friends? Who's the one who abandoned the two that care for him the most? Who's the one who forgets his responsibilities only to move on to something different because of a lack of appreciation? This arriving early streak of yours, or your job on your branch line, they are for the passengers, the workmen, or the other engines. They're for yourself, and no one else. Oh, fiddlesticks. Buzz off. <clears throat> Wait, I'm confused. What's happening? Just be happy you don't work this line. Oh. Please, sir, uh, I really don't want to go on that line again. Come on, Stepney, just one more run. What's got you so spooked anyways? It's just a strange, fearful feeling I can't explain. I think it has something to do with that girl. Please, sir, I'm begging you. We can go anywhere else. Tidmouth, Knapford, even Farquhar, just somewhere away from this line. The scrapyard can wait. We're not carrying precious cargo. We could leave right now. Please? Just this last train, Stepney. I'll tell you what. Suck it up for tonight, and tomorrow we'll get off this branch line. Some nice, fresh air and rails. That would do some good. Fine. This is a bad idea. I don't like this. I can barely see through this fog. Oh, wait, stop! Whoa! What was that? <sighs> okay. Last stop before the scrapyard. Maybe I'll get home early. Evening, Thomas. How are you holding up? This line is a very big responsibility, you know. Not too bad, if I may say so myself. I've arrived early to every job so far, and have made this line run like clockwork. Be careful not to rush, Thomas. Being early isn't everything. <laughs> you sound like Terence. He's been telling me this ridiculous story about some sort of ghost girl. Where does he even get such an idea? 
<laughs> Probably the original engines on this line. The original engines? Yep, they were full of stories like that. I could listen to them for hours. And I almost did. But there was work to be done. I guess they came up with the stories themselves then. Oh no, they're supposed to be a local legend. Okay. Have you ever seen the girl? Me? Heavens no. Uh, a couple of engines I've seen her though. You don't say. Yep, uh, they, they, they did anyway. Uh, of course, they might have just been uh, messing with me. I saw her the other night. Really? Yeah, I had to take some cars to the scrapyard last night and heard her accordion. I saw her walking along the track. She had on a spotless white dress, almost as if it were a costume. I have to say, Terrence knows one good actress. She didn't see you, did she? Uh, no. She didn't see me or my crew. <sighs> well, that's good. Oh my, it's getting late. I must go. Farewell. Good night, Thomas. <sighs> hmm, something doesn't feel right. Rusty seemed worried about something, or at least he acted like it. That would have to be some stellar acting, though. I should hurry up to the scrapyard. The quicker, the better. Huh? What's that? Ah, I can barely see in this fog. Hope I can get home soon. No, I'm on the wrong line. Take me back, please. I really don't feel good about this. It's okay, Thomas. It's only an actress. Uh, hi there. What's your name? My name's Thomas. She's alone. Oh. What lovely music you were playing. Oh, <laughs>